Hi, I'm John from Wex Photographic, and today we are at the Canon Expo 2015 in Paris. We're going to give you an exclusive look at some of the best things we've seen on the stands. Canon have got a lot of future tech here on show, so join us and we are going to show you all of the things that we've really enjoyed here in Paris. The compact 600mm f4 DOBR lens prototype featuring a new technology known as Blue Spectrum Refractive Optics, or BR for short, was one of the first things that caught our eye at the show. We saw these new optics for the first time in Canon's update to the classic 35mm lens, and this technology is designed to combat chromatic aberrations and colour fringing, and even in this early sample of the 600mm, it appears to have done a great job. But the most impressive thing about this lens is its size. Although it's a little stumpy and will likely be impractical to use handheld, it's significantly more compact than any of the existing 600mm lenses, and the fact that they've managed to make it so small is quite impressive in and of itself. Canon has been busy expanding its professional printing services, entering the 3D printing world with two new machines. We also had a sneak peek of a brand new desktop A2 Pixma Pro printer that hadn't yet been announced when we saw it at the show. But the printing tech that really got us interested was the textured and large format printing options. We've done a separate video about one of the new large format printing techniques that's been used to create some of the unbelievable lifelike prints that we saw at the show. So check that out. And although it's still in development, the results that we saw were incredible. Canon also showed off a new printing service that makes it possible to produce high quality prints with fine texture reproduction from just millimetres up to two inches thick. We saw this showed off in photos and even in recreated works of fine art, such as the girl with the pearl earring, where the original brush strokes are realistically produced. We were told at the stand that the machine that recreates these art pieces isn't even commercially available and would cost more than £100,000 if it was. And with each print starting at £1,000 to order, we're unlikely to all be recreating classic works of art anytime soon. Pretty soon after the doors opened on the Canon Expo 2015, many people were rushing to the 250 megapixel and 120 megapixel sensor demonstrations. Both examples of Canon's technological mics were even more impressive in person, and considering that the 120 megapixel camera is already housed inside a typical camera body that you can pick up and shoot with, we don't imagine that this limited prototype is far off from being a fully working sample. While the 250 megapixel sensor is still housed in a big metal box and is a little less practical to carry around, we suspect that both cameras will prove popular in military, astro, surveying and engineering settings when they eventually come to market. Connected homes and image sharing platforms are clearly a big part of Canon's strategy going forward, with software and app solutions like LifeCake and iRista taking pride of place at the show's entrance, as well as a large area dedicated to Prisma Direct, a complete workflow management system. They showcased Prisma using the marketing of a bike launch. The stand and presentation was slick and will have definitely caught the eye of Canon's B2B customers. 8K is the future as far as Canon is concerned, and the future isn't that far away. According to a number of Canon reps that we spoke to in Paris, 4K and eventually 8K viewing in the home is less than five years away from becoming a standard for millions of people. As a result, Canon showed off working samples of its first 8K camera demonstrations, showing that the company is ready to lead the charge. Canon's first 8K camera uses an 8K optimized lens and will eventually use a single dedicated 8K recorder that will make it possible to grab 35 megapixel stills with 13 stops of dynamic range from its footage. Watch our video on the 8K solution for more information. Overall, photography seemed to take a slight backseat as Canon made a concerted effort to position itself as a global brand, not just a camera manufacturer. But they did have some groundbreaking camera tech on show, even if some of it was hidden away. Showing off some leading sensor technology, some fantastic quality printing and monitor devices, as well as some potentially useful sharing and content management offerings, Canon definitely did enough to keep us excited. Now, if only we could get our hands on a new 5D and 1DX update. So we've had a fantastic time in the Canon Expo 2015. We hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. And if there's any other stuff you want to check out, we'll have some more posts on the blog. Please subscribe to our channel for more great videos.